Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over the Type 45 Destroyer's little refit. It got a little update. It looks very nice. This is going to be the release for the public. It is not public yet. But this is how it's going to be looking like when it gets out to the public. So there's three versions of this uh, Type 45. This is the Daring class. It also has a little emblem right here. We'll go, we'll go over that in a bit, but it says daring right here. Um, so I'm going to be going over the entire new aspects of the ship. Uh, we're going to be seeing what changed and how it will be when it gets actually released. So let's start off at the front. I'm going to be going over to the front deck right there. And we're going to take a look over here. So the first thing that changed is the front deck. Over here it changed color, it, it's kind of uh, different, it's more uh, empty as you might say. It's uh, It's got little uh, lines over here in the front. I think those are the same, but there used to be like, uh, like a little fencing over here I think. And there's a little pole now too. I remember watching this on the stream. Uh, so this has changed, but this is the daring. Uh, we have got the 4.5 inch gun right here. Uh, it got a little low, as you might see, there's a lot of changes to it. It's got a little uh, ejector right there for the shells to land on the deck, very nice. Over here at the bottom, very nicely done. Also the warning signs, that's very cool. So caution, the turret may turn without any warning, so... I know it's a something different, but it's it's what it means. So the turret main train without warning. So that means don't stand in this circle, or else you'll get hit by this thing. Just smack that the ship. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna turn on the lantern right now, so you guys can see it a lot better. I don't know what these are right now. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll be going over the missiles right here. So these are the 48 cells. And these are going to be anti-missiles, so when I, you get shot by a missile, these are going to go up in an instant and they're going to take out the missile that is incoming. We also have the phalanx in the back, I'll be going over that in a bit, but these will be working when this gets out. As if right now it is not, but it will when it gets out. Uh, so this is the daring class, uh, and you might think why is that important? Well, it is important because the Duncan, there's three skins for the ship, the Duncan has four harpoons right here and right here. So two times four harpoons. And that is very nice. So you can fire missiles from this ship. But they will be over here and over here. But they are not on this version. This is the Daring and this one doesn't have it. But the Duncan will. Uh, the doors also have been updated, you cannot go through them. Oh wow, there's a little invisible staircase right here. I don't know how that works. Okay, but now we're gonna make our way to the bridge. As you can see right here, the ladders. Uh, I'm gonna be going right here. And you might have seen that the radar up on the top right here is spinning. So they made everything spinning on the ship, what is supposed to be spinning so this was supposed to be spinning this was supposed to be spinning and the top the main radar right here is supposed to be spinning and now it actually is so that's very nice to see we're gonna go up there right now so you guys can take a nice look at that so this is what it will look like when you buy the ship it will be approximately six million but that's not confirmed yet but it should be around 6 million. I'm, I'm gonna estimate 6 to 8 million, but that's my guess. Uh, over here we have the, uh, I think they are Ulicon 30 millimeters. Yes. Yeah. So these are 30 millimeter guns. These are for anti air. And over here we have the brand new emblem that says Daring. If you have another version of the Type 45, such as the Duncan or the other one, it will say Duncan right here. Uh, I kind of forgot what the other one was, but I'm not sure. Um, right here we have the Phalanx, the Seawees, closing weapon system. 
these do not work yet. But they will when they get released, so don't worry about that. Uh, over here we also have the second radar. One second, I'm going to go up here. And which is also spinning. Very nice to see that. Super cool. Back there there's also radar spinning. Very nice. But we are going to go over here. They made a little design tweaks over here too. Like this pattern has changed. Over here the radar was talking about. Over here on the back we can see that it says DA. This stands for daring. If you have a Duncan, it will say DC, Duncan. Very nice. The numbers will also change when you get another version of the ship. Uh, now, I'm gonna go into the hangar. I don't think there has changed a bit on this. No, this has not been touched. So the hangar is still the same. You can fit two Seahawks in here, I'm pretty sure. Or two Wildcats, rather. Uh, yeah, two Wildcats, not Seahawks. Uh, we can take a look over here too. Let's see. This is the uh, tower over here. I don't think this changed, but yeah. This is the nice logo on the other side as well. Yeah, like I said, the logo will be different on the other versions of this ship. That will be the Duncan. Uh, right now, this is the Daring. The Duncan is the one with the most weapons. Here we have uh, general machine guns, we have them all over the ship actually, uh, and there's also been a few sound changes, so I'm gonna ask Rex right here, who's helping me out for this video, thank you very much, for uh, sounding the horn. Now the horn didn't change, however the alarm did. The alarm used to be the old uh, one, the regular one, the little warning. <laughs> Very cool, okay, so that is the horn of the Type 45. Now we're gonna listen to the... So yeah, it is very nice sounding to be honest, I think the changes are amazing and I think this is really worth it. This is an amazing ship, I've always wanted it very bad and now it's finally becoming public for everyone. So that is amazing, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, leave a like if you did, uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this and yeah, I hope you guys can buy this. It's truly amazing I think this is the best ship in the game in my opinion the best looking at least and yeah I hope you enjoyed I might go over the other versions if that is possible to do but I'm not sure at this point I'm also busy making a slow motion video so if you guys want to check that out feel free to do that <laughs> kind of a sneak peek right there I'm gonna be going over to the gun and let's see how it sounds like actually. Very cool. So yeah, as you just heard, it's a different sound from all the other vessels. It is very nice, I think it looks amazing. And it's got a low fire rate, but I think the damage will make up for that. I'm not sure if the fire rate will stay the same, if that, that might change. There's a lot of stuff that might change to this ship as it comes out, because this is still a work in progress. Uh, but over here, also I forgot to mention this, over at the radar, this little pattern will be uh, changed as well. So it, this doesn't, this wasn't here before. But now it is, but I think they will uh, also change that even more, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, that is the main things about this ship that have changed, and I hope you enjoyed, like I said. Uh, leave a like if you did, and uh, thank you very much Rex for helping me out with this video. If you see him in game, say hi to him for me please, he's an amazing person, I really like him. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's it. Bye-bye.